Of all the wedding venues out there, the White House may be among the most coveted. Fewer than two dozen couples have tied the knot there, but a Bethlehem man is in that tally. Tonight's History's Headlines has the story. Who doesn't love a love story? Hi, Diana Francis. Take the Charles Philip Arthur George. And we really love a royal wedding. Lots of shouts from the crowd here. And that's the reward. We also love a White House wedding and exchanging of vows at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. In 1913, a Lehigh Valley guy was the groom. His father was Robert Sayre. Robert Sayre was one of the founders of the uh, Lehigh Valley Railroad with Asa Packer and also was uh, uh, with uh, the Bethlehem Steel Company. Francis B. Sayre was born in South Bethlehem in 1885. His aunt, the sculptor Blanche Nevin, befriended Woodrow Wilson and his family while on vacation in 1910. She had a country home in Lancaster County. It was there that Francis met Jessie, Wilson's second daughter. The two began seeing a lot of each other and in the fall of 19. 1912, Francis popped the question. And she said, well, I don't know whether I want to do that yet. Uh, let me think about it. Eventually, she did say yes. She waited until after her father won the presidential election that year to fill him in. It was to be a White House wedding. November 25th, 1913 was the big day. Back then, there was no live stream, of course, so everyone back home in Bethlehem had to wait until the next day to see the pictures in the newspaper. It was an event that uh, had not been seen in the White House for a number of years, and so everyone was really excited. Everything was detailed in the press, the crowds, the cake, the dresses. The couple then honeymooned in Europe and settled into married life. Francis Sayre went to work for Williams College and later held a number of diplomatic posts. Jesse Sayre was active in the Democratic Party and even turned down a request to run for Senate. They had three children. Sadly, in 1933, Jesse died from complications of what should have been a routine surgery. She was buried in the Sayre family plot in Bethlehem's Niski Hill Cemetery. Sayre later remarried and died in 1972. He and his first bride remain only one of 19 couples to get hitched at the president's place.